Today we're here in the Swift Creek Canyon, which is part of the Star Valley, just east of Afton, Wyoming. And behind me is what appears to be a relatively quiet stream. But in about 10 minutes, it's gonna be like someone turned the faucet on from inside the ledge behind me, and a whole river is gonna come spewing out of the rock face. That's because this is the world's largest intermittent spring or rhythmic spring, or breathing spring. What that means is every 15 minutes, the spring turns off, and 15 minutes later, it turns back on. And a whole river runs down through this canyon, and then it disappears and stops. Now, according to a hydrologist from the University of Utah, what's happening is behind me in the rock face is actually a cavern that's filling with spring water. And from that cavern is essentially a rock pipe that leads to the face right behind me. As that cavern fills with water, it reaches the top of that pipe. And as it overflows, it creates a siphoning effect. Now, when that happens, the hydraulic effect pulls the water out of that cavern and creates a river, which runs for about 15 minutes, technically 12 to 18. Eventually that siphon is broken once air reaches the pipe and it breaks off and the cavern fills again. In another 12 to 18 minutes, it starts the process all over again. Intermittent springs are relatively uncommon. There's only about 100 known in the world, this one being the largest. One of the more famous intermittent springs is the Gyphon Spring in the city of David in Jerusalem. And it's hypothesized that the city was founded there because of the spring. It no longer runs intermittently and it's now artificially pumped to create the rhythmic process. The history of rhythmic springs actually dates back to about 79 AD, where Pliny the Younger, who wrote about the Vesuvius mountain eruption, actually wrote about an intermittent spring that's still there today on the same exact schedule he wrote about. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like or a comment or subscribe. And as always, until next time, get lost.